Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to quickly show you how to change the default git init branch name for your repositories. As you can see, the git init default branch name doesn't have to be master anymore. This is the installation screen of git, and it gives you the opportunity to change what the default is. In my own environment, I've actually changed it from master to main. So if you notice here, if I actually go in here and create a new branch, do a git init, and then I do a git status, it'll actually tell me that I'm on the branch main. Okay, you may not want to be on the branch name even though that's now the git default for GitHub. You might want to change it to something else. So how do you do it? Well, it's as simple as this. You just, just go git config dash dash global. You can do local, you can do package, you can do system. Say init.default branch and then change it to something else. So you might want to change it back to master. Now that's not culturally sensitive, but I mean, you could do that. And then if I go into this directory here, do a git bash command, and I do a git init, and then do the git status, you can see that it's actually changed from main to master now. So you see over here, the branch that was created with init was main. Now it's changed to master. And you know, I can do that once again, and I could just call it something else change the default branch to something else. Now I can create a new folder here, go in here, run that git command again. So git bash here, we'll actually do the init there, do the git status, and you can see the default branch name is something else. So there's nothing special about the master branch other than the fact that it's typically the first one created. But, you know, in this age of, of being respectful to others, the trend is to move towards the master slave terminology. And to facilitate that, Git's put in this cool little feature. And you can now change whatever you want the default branch on a git init command to be. And there you go. That's how easy it is to change the default Git init branch name for your Git repositories. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. Lots of great tutorials on Git, GitHub, GitLab, enterprise software development, DevOps, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.